Okay, so today is September 1st. It's almost 7 p.m. And one of the new things that I'm gonna be doing this month that I haven't done in a while is I'm gonna be tracking everything I buy for the business for FBA like I used to do several years ago. I would post about that on Instagram and a lot of people would ask me like why I don't just use a spreadsheet. For me, something I found that works is physically writing things out and seeing it. That's why I write my to-do lists on my closet doors now. I enjoy journaling. I have a Kindle, but I basically never use it because I just buy physical books. But yeah, the goal for Amazon this month, the like very first time in several months, I feel like that I have a goal for Amazon is to be September of 2021. Not just beat in revenue, but beat in profit. One thing I moved away from that I used to do was just setting revenue goals because then I end up just like selling low margin, like $1, $2 profit items that I can sell in huge volume. Technically that's not the worst, but I've like kind of moved away from selling a $20 item to make one or $2. Like if you think about it, if you get one return that's costing you 20 bucks, that's the same as selling 20 items. It's just not worth my time anymore. And my margins have improved a lot since past years. Like in May, my ASP was like $32. I was making almost a 27% margin on every item. So today I've been, instead of scrolling on TikTok, I've been scrolling on Facebook marketplace trying to find stuff to buy and I'm slowly getting more into camera gear like you guys saw in my pawn shop vlog that was pawn shop hall one I've been picking stuff up on Facebook last Sunday I picked up three cameras so I've been trying to get more into camera gear and even just looking for stuff that like I could use but what I really want to talk about just really quickly since I didn't really do much today that was like worth vlogging about like I worked for three hours I'm gonna edit the vlog from last week, wash my bed sheets. Like I, I really didn't do that much today. I've been working on some new habits and breaking some bad ones. I wanna save that for like an end of the month video. But yeah, what I really wanna talk about in this video is, is online arbitrage like still valid? A lot of people ask me how I find products to sell on Amazon and it's really, I wouldn't say it's like the most conventional way. Like I'm gonna scroll through my sales right now and just like tell you how I found them. I sold four of the same thing for $20 each. I found those by just, flipping through the Target weekly ad. I do that on Sundays sometimes. These were on sale. I picked up 20 of them. I'm making like four or $5 per unit, so that's not bad. I sold a replenishable item that I buy every fall season from Walmart. What's nice about that is I can just go in the Walmart app and order them and they'll literally show up tomorrow. I sold this used electronic item that I bought on Mercari for $54. I sold it for 90. Not a camera, all I'm gonna say, but it's one of those items that's like, People are definitely buying them. It's the time to buy them. Sold an item I bought on eBay for $57 in brand new condition for $190. I would say that's like my highlight sale. I've sold that product like three or four times now. It's honestly pretty hard to find. It's a really old item, but you know, sometimes like people will probably find them at a thrift store brand new. It goes for like 50 to $60 on eBay, but it goes for 190 on Amazon. Why does that make any sense? Like logically, like you're probably watching this and thinking that makes no sense, but people aren't looking on eBay. Amazon is like the first thing that comes to mind. If people are going to Amazon first and you can find the price difference between Amazon and the other place, just get it from the other place and sell it on Amazon. That is basically what I've been doing. Like there's tons of people who do it. But ever since 2017, like this is what I've been doing. It's not always the main thing, but like now it's starting to become that because I can get crazy margins like that. I'm still using my dad's account. None of this stuff is in my name. So if his account gets banned, I could just make my own. So I'm not worried about like an IP claim or like a new as used claim. Not that I'm selling anything sketchy. I'm just saying like, since I'm buying stuff off eBay, I can't use an eBay receipt as proof of authenticity. I used to, I'm gonna scroll back on Instagram because I remember posting it. eBay has been my most profitable source this entire year for Amazon inventory. I made like $8,000 of profit from like eBay finds or $7,000, something like that. So why did I stop? Many reasons. Most notably, I got fed up with not getting items as described and I didn't like prepping a lot of the stuff which ties into the not getting item as described. eBay to Amazon, I focused on electronics and a lot of these items needed like a ton of prep. Testing, cleaning, bubble wrapping. A lot of times I bought new items and they weren't fit for Amazon's new conditions. So a lot of that I think stems from the fact that the product that I was buying a lot of to flip on Amazon was blank VHS tapes. I would buy cases of like 10 RCA VHS tapes. I remember selling a ton of those, but they get to me, I open the box and then like one of them is broken or the plastic's damaged. Something is wrong with it in some way. Like that's something that can easily get messed up. I'd send those in as used like new and they would take forever to sell. I'd make like $2 on a case of 10 selling them for like 45 bucks. I'm pretty sure this item is still profitable. I would buy Canon 
printing calculators, but a ton of them would come in with like corroded batteries still in them or they wouldn't, I'd, I'd test them. They wouldn't like print at all. It wouldn't even roll. A lot of issues like that just added up over time and made me really fed up. But when I revisited it in, I wanna say like April this year, March this year, I was strictly looking at high margin new inbox products for the most part. And when I say high margins, I'm talking about like something that I could buy for like 30 to 40 and sell for like 90. And I'm still buying used items, but more often than not, they're items that are more expensive and way easier to test and prep. So I would say the majority of my online arbitrage is me just manually going in and looking up keywords. I keep getting distracted because I'm providing like anecdotal evidence for each of these things I'm saying. But in 2018, I remember going in the Target app in September, looking up peppermint. I found that Luna peppermint bars on Amazon in like a 12 pack were out of stock. So I was buying six packs from Target sending them out in priority padded flat rate envelopes. I was selling them for like 35 bucks and I was paying like 12, paying like nine for shipping. I sold a ton of those. So if you look at this and you see protein bar, that was the Luna bars. I sold $5,000 worth of revenue of those Luna bars in 2019. And that was me thinking outside the box. Instead of selling them as 12 packs or 18 packs, whatever I was selling them in, I was just selling the boxes of six. Another good way I found online arbitrage products is from products I bought in thrift stores. And then I saw on eBay, they were going for way less than on Amazon. So I just started buying them on eBay. Is it as good as buying it for like a dollar from the thrift store? No, but it's consistent. That's the thing about online arbitrage. It's way more consistent than going to a retail store scanning clearance. Going into this month, most of the products I sell will probably be from Facebook Marketplace and eBay. I would say after those two would come Walmart and Target. I'm comfortable in telling you guys that I actually am working on reselling this month. I haven't done it in several months, at least like June and July. August, I kind of started getting into it a little more when I realized that if I was like doing reselling and everything else I'm doing, like I could be making like the money I want to be making. I don't do tactical arbitrage all the time. Like I usually only use it during like Q4. I used it during summer 2020 because it was quarantine and I couldn't go to stores. Outside of that, not really. And I'm really bad at it actually. I don't know how to use it properly. There's still some products I've found from Tactical Arbitrage in 2017 that I can still sell now. So do I think it's worth it? Yeah, but you're gonna have to put in a ton of time to learn how to use it properly, I feel like. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm not saying eBay to Amazon is the best way. It has its pros and cons. Like if you're willing to sit there and just scroll through because sometimes it's just me sitting here with a Hulu on in the background, just scrolling through my phone. And I'm perfectly okay with that because it's way better than just sitting on my phone scrolling through TikTok. Like a lot of the products I'm buying, I have such a big gap in between what I'm paying and what it's selling for that I can afford to drop the price a ton if I need to, to liquidate. It's keeping those things in mind that makes it so much different from Walmart and Target because the products I was buying from Walmart and Target were like $20 sell price and I was making like $2. Volume was great, but in selling 50 units of something I'm making $2 on, I made the same profit on selling one item that I bought on eBay. When you think of it like that, that changes the game. Think about all the prep time I'd take for 50 items compared to one. All it took was a little more time to find that one product. And once that's done, once the groundwork's done, you have a product that you know you can buy over and over and over again as long as it's in stock and it'll sell every once in a while. I'm not saying I'm selling a $60 item for 190 bucks every day but you know if it sells like once a month that's a pretty significant amount of money i'm gonna have a great time editing this it's at 26 minutes right now but hopefully you got some useful information out of that that's gonna wrap it up for this video it's 7 20 right now all i have planned for the rest of the day is i'm gonna go get chando's tacos gonna eat dinner with my brother and then i will probably play some fortnite before i go to sleep solid thursday if you guys enjoyed this video or have like a topic that you want me to cover Leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.